Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Mark. Um, going over the uh, my map editor from uh, Riva. Um, not a professional at this, but there is no information out there about how to use it. And anybody that's interested, this is kind of for you. Everybody that has mode tech, you're assholes because I can't afford it. Okay, thanks again. Especially you, Dino. Anyway, um, the little stuff I did learn, I'll go over a little bit, and that's about it. I had help from Jesus over at Riva, their tuner guy. So um, we'll go over it real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm still learning it. I'm not messing with ignition or anything like that yet, but. I was able to get my AFR right, and now I'm going to start messing with the uh, other stuff, like throttle response, maybe a little bit in ignition, but that's about it. Here we go. So, log in. You buy it. 300 bucks. Woohoo! You also need a tuner, which is 400 bucks. Woohoo! And then you have to buy their license, which is 600 bucks or 500 whatever it is. So, total amount is $1,100. Still... $2,400 less than Motec. So, still good. Alright, so here's your basic stuff. Um, clearly my VIN number. Steal it if you want. I don't care. Whatever. Um, these are all the stage files. Stage 1 or stock. Stage 2. Stage 3. Stage 4. Um, and then this is an 8900 tune that he did I can't delete it though it's just there but um, these are ones that uh, I made Jesus made some others I looked through them and um, well let's get into it so this is where you'll name it basically well let's go back let's move this into position but let's go back so from here if you want to make one in stage 2 which is the base map you just hit new project and it'll have the base map for stage two. And then you mess with the numbers in there. But I'm in stage four. All I did was do, do new project. Open this up. Rename it there. And here's your options. Fuel map, warm, RPM limiter, gas pedal, which is your throttle response, ignition, advance. Haven't messed with that. Idle speed and drive mode. That's pretty cool. Actually does change that. So I have mine at set 1900. Idle speed, well, idle, just idling, neutral, 1900. Um, injector scaling, um, from my understanding, what Jesus explained. Oop, can't see any of that. Anyway, fuel map warm, RPM lower, gas pedal, that's throttle response. Ignition, idle speed in drive mode, idle speed while in neutral. Um, injector scaling, what I was just talking about. Injector scaling is, from what I understand, the overall amount of fuel that the injectors will deliver as a whole not massing with any other maps or anything like that so scaling it up means more fuel over the whole power band uh, scaling it down less fuel over the whole power band um, this is a good thing to change um, if you're going from out of the hole to full throttle and let's say you're running rich you want to scale it down and um, you know obviously your numbers get leaner and leaner as you go down but um, <clears throat> that's how you would do that and then you have your fuel map cold which really should be up here with a fuel map warm um, lambda map have a mess with that but basically my understanding of lambda is it's always going to be supposed to be at one i don't know or under it i haven't learned about it have a mess with it ignition advance two three altitude and then down to the nitty-gritty is your ms for the injectors so it's uh you're basically changing the pulse width of your injectors and doing that um, instead of changing the fuel map up here, which is 
what Jesus explained it as is when you change these numbers, it also affects like four other maps or something. One being timing and injectors and other things like that. Um, so he said at the bottom end, um, here I'll show you. Bottom end, like right here, right where my idol is, all the way up to about, uh, I think it's like 4,000 or something. I think my injectors start doing their thing at 4,400. So he said change the fuel maps down here and then use your um, injectors, and you'll see that here, injectors uh, as the main fuel take and give um, for your jet ski because it's not going to mess with any of the maps unless there's detonation problems or something of that sort. But as you can see, I got plus three um, all the way here, plus 15 here. Clearly in stage four with the biggest supercharger, which I only have a stock, there's a lot of boost going on about right here. And then uh, going down, I got another plus or minus 15 here. I meant yeah there's supposed to be a lot of boost here and then here there was uh not sure what happened but it's negative 15 and then right here negative uh 35 i might be talking backwards plus in the fuel is because it thinks there's too much air going well there is too much air going in as opposed to the fuel that's supposed to be delivered and this one is or no that's adding more fuel. Yes, this is taking fuel away. Yeah, to lean it out. Okay. Yeah, I'm back on track. Got sidetracked. Anyway, so right here in this power band, I have about uh, 11.8, 12, and that's with taking away the 35%. This is all in percentage. Um, I have negative 15 here. This puts me at like 13. This all puts me at about 13, 12.8, somewhere in there um, when going. This I'm still trying to get down, but this map that I have now has injector scaling. This was 35, it's down 5%. We're going to try that because no matter how far I changed this number, it wouldn't move. It was stuck. So change that. But anyway, when you do your MS, um, your maps in your uh, injector, you want to change one. And I think it was supposed to be two, but it was 22. And you're supposed to change both of them to the same. So if you see, I have negative 35, negative 15, plus 3, plus 15, plus 3, all the same. But uh, that's a basic overlook of it. I got my numbers right now. Um, well, I still got to do the injector scaling because when I'm going... Out of the hole, I think I'm at like, oh, I don't know. I think it's at uh, probably like a 12 or 11.8 um, for AFR from nothing to something. So we lowered the injector scaling. He said that it worked. That was my idea to begin with before I asked him. And uh, you can see that in this file here. This is the file I made before I talked to uh, Jesus and he's edited the map for me but I looked at it and uh, I actually scaled mine down more yeah 31 I think it's a 10 percent yeah 10 percent difference so he did five I did 10 I haven't tested this yet nor have I tested this one at all um, but I will pretty soon see how it works out and then once I get the AFR right then I'll go to throttle response and start messing with that. Oh, I already plussed it by two. Let me take that away real quick. I don't want to mess anything up. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to flash that, and then I'll start messing with the throttle response, see what I get from it. And then, I don't know, I, I'm going to read up on that and see if changing that does anything. I don't know if it will. Might mess with injector. Our ignition advance, maybe not. I don't know. I'm guessing ignition advance is one, two, and three for each cylinder, probably. That's my guess, but who knows? That's a general overview, and uh, 
I'll show you in a second here when I uh, exit out of this. Um, basically, I don't really like this system, but hey, what are you going to do? 2400 x dollars and you'll be able to do it right from your computer. But CLS has question mark. You have to wait until it uploads to the server, their server, or whatever it does. And then you have to go to Map Tuner and download the tune to your uh, tuner again. And sometimes this takes a while. I mean, I've sat there for five minutes waiting for it to uh, be uploaded. And also, periodically, um, like if it's doing this and I try to go into another one, sometimes it gets really slow and it'll not respond and then you have to wait like two minutes for it to respond and blah, 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 blah. I don't know. System's good for the money. Oh, look. See, it just did it. It's not doing it. Oh, there you go. Um, good for the money. Yeah. Beginner stuff. Yeah. I don't have the money for mode tech. Wish I did. $3,500. Hmm. Maybe somewhere down the line. But uh, for right now, this works. And yeah. So that's my little overview of this. Not like anybody cares, but hey. And this is the first video ever of my map editor from Riva or VTech or maptoon.com, whatever it is. I don't know. No information out there. So here it is. And I'll do some more videos uh, once I start messing with the other stuff. There you go. Not responding. And it's responding. So anyway, been fun. See you later.